knowing biomechanics though and how teeth move, I would say that in this case, as my plastic gets shorter, the molar is going to be a great anchor for my canine distalizing back. But what if I want the opposite? For the lower arts, what if I want the molar to come forward? What if I want to burn the anchor, how we used to call it back in the day? And in this case, I will tell you, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Why? Because I wanted to also correct my canine into a class one relationship. So I didn't want the lower canine going back. Watch this. If I do nothing other than allowing the plastic to get shorter, even if the cartoon tells me that your canine will stay put and your molar will come forward, what do you think is going to happen when I place those aligners in the patient's mouth? Remember, all the cartoon tells me is the shape of my aligner. So the cartoon may say, Dr. Milton, we're going to keep your canine where it is and your molar is going to come forward. But honestly, they're using the cartoon to print 20, 30, 40 different aligners. And the aligners will just be shorter and shorter as the teeth close together. So all I'm gonna get back is a whole bunch of aligners that will decrease in size over time, right? You place those aligners in the patient's mouth and do you think that the mouth knows that the molar needs to go forward? No, the aligner is gonna exercise the same force on the canine as it will on the molar you know what's going to happen, right? The molar is going to stay where it is and the canine is going to come back. So knowing that will force you to now go back to the clear aligner company you're working with and say, listen, I don't trust that the canine is going to stay still because if you just bodily move everything together, the molar is more of an anchor than the canine will ever be. So here's what I want you to do. Maybe I want you to move the premolar forward first. Watch this with me. If you guys get this, I can quit right now because that's the principle of biomechanics that most people have the hardest time with. Moving both molar and premolar forward big problem taking the premolar first and moving it mesial first will allow your plastic watch this to have the same distance between canine and molar and what will happen is will allow the molar to reinforce your anchorage as you move your premolar forward first. Okay, now that you have your premolar in the new position, now you're gonna ask, I'm gonna do this in purple, that you use that whole anterior segment as one unit, and then you get the molar forward. 